Hello team and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you the best way to create drop down lists in Excel so that they dynamically update whenever a new option is added to the drop down list. And I'll also show you a way you can easily alphabetize the drop downs with just a click. That way you create a better user experience. In my reporting template example, I want to keep track of employee training statuses and I want to give the users the ability to select from a drop down list so the entries are aligned with items I will be reporting on. I have the items I want to include in the drop down list on the right in the status drop down column. First, let's make this status drop down list a table. To do so, I'll highlight the entire list, select Control T, and click OK. Making this list a table is what allows the field to automatically update the drop down options if a new status is added. Now I'll highlight just the options I want in the drop down and assign a name to this list. To do so, I'll go up to the top left in the name box and we'll enter the name status. Click Enter, and now our name is assigned. Now I'll select the cells where I want the drop down list to occur. So I'll highlight these cells next to the training course, go to the Data tab at the top, select Data Validation. In the Allow box, I'll change this to List. Then in the source, I will enter equals status and click OK. You'll notice the cells have now changed to have this down arrow where users can click and assign a status to the training based on my drop down options. To further improve this list, I want the options that appear in the drop down to be alphabetized so that if I have a longer list, my users can find it easier. Since I've created a table, I can easily alphabetize this by selecting this down arrow and selecting sort A to Z. Now that I've changed the list in the status dropdown, if I head back to the dropdown options under training status, you'll notice those are also alphabetized. If I need to add a new option to the status dropdown, like in progress and not started, I can add those in the cells below head back to training status, and you'll know those were automatically updated to my drop-down list. One last tip I recommend is that we can take the status drop-down list and place it within another tab in Excel so that your users don't have to see this column when they're entering their data. In order to complete that, I'll highlight the cells, select Control X on the keyboard, head to the drop-downs tab, and use Control V to paste those in. Now I can right click the drop downs tab at the bottom and select hide. Heading back to the reporting tab, you'll notice if I click the training status drop down, all my options are still located there. And the list will still dynamically update if a new field needs to be added. If you need to locate the drop downs tab, just right click reporting and select unhide. Drop downs is highlighted for you, so you can click OK and then we can add a new item to the list. Let's add an option stating deferred. I'll right click drop downs again, select hide. Back in the reporting tab, if I click the drop down for training status, you'll notice deferred is located there at the very bottom. Team, I hope you enjoyed this tip. Please like and subscribe to the channel and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.